Hey YouTube, how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing well. Uh, today I'm going to teach you guys how to do some landscaping on Farm Sim 22. If you uh, came here, I assume that uh, you're confused, you need help. Um, yeah, so with that said, uh, landscaping is really not that difficult once you get a hang of it. But I will show you how to do that now. So how to do landscaping? How do you get there? Well, go to the menu. You click on the three lines, right? Three lines, construction, landscaping. All right. You made it this far? Great. And I don't need the map, so... Well, the map's there. Can't get rid of it when you're in this menu. So first things first, wherever your player is, you're not going to be able to do anything there. The only thing you can do is paint. That's it. You can paint, but you can't... You can't do that. You can't raise lower. You can't do any ground stuff. But before we get there, <clears throat> let's go ahead and we're going to demolish all the buildings here. Demolish that. Oh no, there's a big hole there. Well, that's okay. We're going to fix that. We're going to demolish that one. That one actually was flat. The only reason why there was a hole there because there was a basement in there. Just like this pit right in there. Where you uh, work on your vehicles. Creates a basement. But we got two sections of the holes in the ground. Well, that's simple. Simple, simple, simple. We'll do the level tool. So what do you do? I'm on PC. It's the same theory for uh, controllers. I don't know what the controls are for controllers, but for the sake of uh, for this... Although the best I can for explaining, so hopefully it's about the same. So basically, all you do, I hit V, that's the change of shape, went from circle to square, and I'll either keep it this size or the next size up. Now, you uh, pick and choose what level of land you want. Right, right here is about the same. So we'll just right click, that sets the height. And then you left click, hold, and drag. You want to go slowly. If you go too fast, it's going to create bombs and hill, uh, divots and stuff. It doesn't fully fill. And done. Now, there might be some spots that might be rough still that you might not see. Unfortunately, I'm zoomed in as far as you could possibly go. So that's where you use a soften tool. So basically, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little hump right there. It kind of curves up to the grass. It dips down to right about here and shoots up to the grass. And then what you do is just, all you do is just click and drag. I move it around like this just in case. You don't really have to. See the grass just dipped down right there. And right there. I don't always... Move it around like this, but I do just in case. See, it, uh, it's making everything uh, matched up a little bit. Kind of even a little bit. See, now it looks a lot more subtle. <clears throat> so that's that's basically it, really. That's the, you know, these two, I feel, are the most important ones that you'd want. I guarantee you these two, the level and soften are the two that you can use the most now with raise and lower this is where it's a little different i always do the circle mode <clears throat> raise and lower left click on the mouse makes it go up just like so Right click makes it go down. Makes the hole there. Left click up, right click down. I like I said I don't know what it is on controller, but I'm sure it's the same exact concept. So let's go ahead and kinda level it out. We'll uh raise it up. Kinda make a a nice little hilly 
ordeal here. All right. So now what you could do, so you got a nice little hill platform. Now what you can do is grab your soften tool. What your soften tool does, it rounds everything off. And once again, you can increase the size a little bit, make it easier for you. Come too close to the player. Now, if it, when you soften it, it will decrease the size, but it'll round everything off. Now, if you want to make it higher, if you wanted that hill higher, you can always just, you know, go ahead and increase it more. But for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep it simple. All right. Now, so you can see it better, we're, what we're going to do here is paint it a little bit. Now, I prefer to paint, depending on what I'm doing, I prefer to paint with a circle, especially if I'm in a tight location. So we'll just go ahead and... Give that whole ordeal done. Now we'll do a little bit of dirt. We'll size it down. Wrong button. Dirt there. We got some dirt here. No oh, dirt there. And then what you can do is grass on the outside here. Hopefully you guys can tell where I'm going at with this. Let's use a little imagination a little bit. A little grass up there a little bit. Grass up there a little bit. And around. Once again, the only thing you do under your character is to paint. That's it. So now you got a nice terrain here. So with that side, now you can just, you know, plant some trees. Do some, do some shrubs, whatnot. Do the rest, flowers out here. So you know you can give a little nice little landscape touch to your farm if you'd like to. It almost fits beautifully right here, you know. Sweet, simple, nothing crazy. You know, if you if you want slower, if you want slower than me. And it took your time, I bet you that look way better. You know, I'm just going, I'm going fast. <clears throat> All right, so back to sculpting. Sculpting is your land. Just remember, raise and lower, left goes up, right click goes down, level. You want to right click, set height, left click, drag, soften your tool. You know, we can probably touch it up a little bit more, you know, make it more rounded. So on and so forth. Because that's soften right there. Now slope. This is a little different. I always use square. I don't use we'll get back to this in a minute. I always use square. Reason being <coughs> pardon me. <clears throat> slope you can use as like a a ramp. You make a ramp that you can use for loading equipment. You want to pick your highest location typically to go above or your lo lowest location to go into the ground. So I'll show you what it looks like with the highest location going above ground. So you, it's another right click set height and left click drag. Um, Just like so. Now, I, obvious. Whoops. In fact, I think I just realized. So, I, I am going to correct myself here. You don't have to right click. Because it can start. I think you just click and drag, it looks like. So, let's, let's start from here. There we go. It looks a little more uniform. So, now. Now you have a little slope. Let me size that down. <clears throat> now you have a slope that you can just drive straight across. And you can either dump straight into here or park a tipper, park a tractor or something. And use another track, another vehicle to fill up your tipper. Make it easier to fill up your tipper. Now for the in-ground slope, 
we must do the opposite. So let's increase the size. The size should be good. Now I'm going to test the theory. Yep. Okay. Click. It works both ways. You can right click set height or you can just click and drag. Now because I stopped I have to start all over. It's like I said just nice and slow or else you're gonna have a mishap and then you have to start from the beginning for this one. <clears throat> there you go. So now you have a pit. That's why that you got the in-ground slope. You have a nice pit so you can back. You can either fill this up with silage if you want to or grain or whatever. Or you can um, back your tipper into here, have a loader dump into your tipper. Um, I personally don't use these yet. I'm sure I will at some point, but right now I don't. And then if you want to, you can go crazy, do the sloping, make it nice if you want. So if you wanted to, you can drive on both sides. I don't think that will work as properly if you wanted to. But that's basically it. That's, that's basically it for the uh, landscaping side of things. Now, let's go ahead and place a building. Because that's where I think some people have issues is with building placements. And then after you place a building, the, you know, your land gets all crazy. So we go to buildings. Let's do, let's do this guy here. Let's see where we can put it. Let's put it. Oh, uh, right there. So you place the building, go back to landscaping. Real quick, I'm going to paint everything so you guys can see. I think that's by far the quickest way to get rid of your fields. It's just the paint. All right, so landscaping, sculpting. Now, if you look closely, you've got, you know, your barn's level, or whatever building that you have is level. Right across there, you can gradually see just the drop-off. As well as the main barn door drops off right there, a little further out. So what I do for myself, there's two ways of going about it. You can just grab the slope. The soften tool, sorry. Grab the softening tool. And gradually just soften it. But for for my sake, because this will work. That that works just fine. But for my sake, what I do is I grab this level tool, change the shape to square. Right click to the main height in the front, the further out level, and then I go ahead and drag. Now, you don't want to go too far out. You don't want to go way out here. You want just enough so that the slope is gradual. Like right over here, you don't have to do as much. It's about basically where, where you want it. But... That's a, yeah, that's about the distance you want right there. And let's go on along this side here to a point where it just evens out. All right. So we got it out further. Now we'll change it to slope. Or I keep doing it. Slim fail here. <clears throat> change it to soften. At this point, I just go big. I grab the big one. And I just soften everything up. Sometimes, let me side that down. Sometimes you'll have this little slope here that doesn't like to do really anything. It doesn't change much. Sometimes you have to raise or lower the, uh, the ground. Sometimes that works. Sometimes it doesn't. Um, that's one of the minor 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 issues in the game i mean heck maybe maybe it's something i haven't figured out yet which is 
probably at this point the most accurate one. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm not going to make it perfect at this point for the sake of the length of the video. So now what you can see is you got a nice gradual slope going to your burn. Like I said, for the sake of the video, I'm not going to make it perfect. I would put probably 10 more minutes into just doing the leveling. Uh, to make a fit. But <clears throat> now, sometimes the silos, it's the same theory. So let's go ahead. Building silos. The silos is sometimes the same process because driving your vehicles. In fact, where is it? This one. I noticed. Um, sometimes driving your your uh, vehicles into the onload and fill station is a pain if you don't catch it. Um, I wish you could zoom in further, but there will be a hump all around us. But you can gradually see it right there where the cursor is. <clears throat> so what I do is I just... I soften. You see how much has changed right here in the dark? Now, if you watch closely, it's going to do it right here, too. Yeah. So, if you're struggling getting your tractors in and out, not necessarily the tractors, but mainly the semis, until the semis get fixed, you're going to have issues. So, that's all you need to do is just... You don't need to worry about around the silo itself, just the dump and fill section. That's it. Sweet, simple. And then for the sake of my sanity and future videos, you're going to right-click and left-click drag. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. All right. Whoops. Now we're going to have to fix that because I just made a problem. So for this section, what we do is we just... Slope it all. Slope it all. Now, I sometimes will... This is where I do use... The raise and lower. I kind of... Make it somewhat more as level as possible. See how it's just adding more kind of filled it in a little bit better. And then now what you can do is soften everything at once. That's what I did on my main farm. Um, if you guys want to see that main farm, feel free to uh, follow me on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash SlimJim125. You'll see my main farm completely different setup than what you normally see but yeah folks uh i that is basically that's basically it if you have any questions concerns feel free to comment down below if i went too fast if i missed something uh, yeah feel free to let me know if you liked the video if it helped you please feel free to give it a thumbs up subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss the next upload. Um, if you didn't like the video, feel free to give a thumbs down and please, please, please explain uh, in the comments uh, what you didn't like so I know what to not do again. But yeah. Alright folks, I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed it. With that said, uh, stay tuned for the next upload and see you around. Alright, take care. Bye now.